every time. Honestly, every time I start these vlogs, Alex just happens to be having a wee. I don't understand. Welcome to the vlog, guys. Welcome. We're in Milano for the start of Milan Fashion Week. Today is an exciting one. I've got Emporio Armani this morning. I've got Emporio Armani this morning. Straight onto Fendi 10 minutes later, so I am just wearing my Fendi look. Save me trying to rush and put on a different outfit very quickly. So I'm wearing my full Fendi look and I am absolutely in love with this body I'm so glad though that I brought this little vest with me or else I would be showing my nips right now. A couple of accessories from the Fendi team and you might remember these sunglasses that I picked up the other day. Well, in fact, I don't know if I showed you them or not, but these new Fendi's are so cool. Oh, in love with those. So I've got a bit of a look going on. Looking forward to this show. I'm just literally getting my bits and bobs together and we're off. But we're staying at the Galleria Vic Milano. We found this like last minute. And look at this flipping view into the gallery like this could not be any more awesome so anyway need to get myself ready oh it's just beautiful so we've got our got our room this is honestly super lovely and this bathroom is insane <laughs> and it also has a closet which is perfect so i've kind of hung up loads of my outfits i've got lots coming later for different um brands that i'm going to their shows but for now we need to go Oh, domestic happening outside. Um, yeah, in the car on our way to the Emporio show. So there are two Emporio shows this morning. One is right now at half past 10. One is at half 11. I'm going to the half 11 show, but I'm going to quickly go backstage around 11 just to see what, what Linda has created this time for the show. I always love seeing Linda. She's so, so great from Armani. So she's like the head uh, creative director for makeup for Armani Beauty. So... Looking forward to seeing what they're doing this time for the show. And then gonna go out and back in again for the actual show. Armani have very, very kindly helped us and put us in a car today to get us from A to B quickly. Because like I said, the Fender show is at 12.30, so it's like super rushed. But I'm sure if, if the Armani show is on time, we can get from A to B very quickly, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, but we've got a fun few days here now in Milan. We've got today, tomorrow, and half of Saturday as well. And then we go home Saturday night back to our house where the lounge is being done this week. We've got the lounge being painted. Yesterday the floor went in. I didn't show you any of that. I thought I'd save it and sort of show you it in full. But the floor went in yesterday. It looks unreal. Like that room is starting to look like it's a usable room now. Like all the dust is kind of gone. And so now the guys are in painting it into my beautiful reds and grey white pinks. By the time we get home, it should look like an actual lounge. So what I wanted to do was, probably at, like later on, is to show you, uh, oh no, actually no, that'll be in a different video. I'm gonna put it in a different video. I wanna kind of decorate the lounge with you. I thought that'd be quite fun to do. We are just backstage at um, Armani. I'm just having a look at the, um, the makeup, the Armani Beauty makeup. So I've just spoken with Johan and also with Linda, just chatting about the makeup. And it's all about this very like luminous, tinted, moisturizer type of skin. And so she's mixed the cream with the Tizanolif foundation to create this really luminous and lightweight, almost like a tinted moisturizer. And then she's used that to really kind of create more of a sun-kissed and um, more perfected look on the skin. But it sounds absolutely beautiful and I'm going to use some of these tips myself. <laughs> so now I'm going to wait just a few more minutes until we go into the next show. You can see a few of the models coming out now. Show. 
back from the Vendi show. We battled through traffic for ages. It's actually quite late now, but I want to go to the Casa Day presentation. So I've come back to the hotel and I'm going to completely rechange so I can go back out again. Loved this outfit. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Okay, back in the room undoing everything. I've got some things to wear for the Jimmy Choo presentation, some boots for Cassidy, these stunning boots. These are amazing. In fact, I think I remember seeing these. Do you know what? I think these are the exact boots last year that I put on my stories and was like, if I died and came back as a boot, it would be these. And I'm so sure it was these. If you died and came back as a boot? It would be these. I'm sure it was <laughs> those. Wear it Me. <laughs> In the afterlife. Then I've got something from uh, Ferragamo and from Todd's. And then inside of here are my tickets that I needed earlier. But then I've also got some bits from Sportmax for the show. Lots of things. I need to now put these, hang these up. Okay, I put everything away in their places so that I know where everything is. One thing that happened though, which is unbelievable, is that Donatella and Versace have gifted me this unreal new Versace bag. I think it's called the Virtus, the Virtus bag. Gorgeous, so pink, and that big V on there. I realise it won't be to everyone's taste, guys. I know some of you aren't massive on pink, but with the outfit I'm wearing tomorrow night, which is all black with bits of gold, this will really, really pop. So I can't wait to wear that now. I'm just about to head out though to the Cassidy presentation. Um, Cassidy is one of my favourite shoe brands. This is a really beautiful Italian shoe brand. So I've got my boots on my dream boots and then I'm wearing this kind of like double layered thing let me show you my messy closet <laughs> um yeah I just kind of layered my new favorite helmet lang knit over the top of you'll never guess where this is from guys this is H&M H&M suede I just saw it really liked it and thought this would be quite a cute little little mini so I've gone for like the boots and short skirt vibe and then this little cutie this bag is adorable it just kind of like magnetizes clothes like that and it's in this cute shearling it also has a strap as well so i might wear it cross body because it looks really sweet um so i'm wearing that it is just adorable i'll leave a link down below and then just to finish off my brand new amazing dior sunnies these are so badass I'm just going to sort out my hair a bit because it's kind of starting to clump together. I just need to kind of break it up a little bit. Put on some more lippy. And then we're out of here. We've just got here. We've got a little bit lost on the way. <laughs> Always the case in Milan. And there are some really beautiful shoes in here. And just all the fact that I found these boots I'm wearing here last year. No, last season. And I'm wearing them. We're up extra super early because we want to shoot some um, some content down inside the Galleria so we want to do it when there is no one there because in the day it is just crazy. So we got ourselves, well I got myself up at six to get ready. What time is it now? About seven? Yeah. About seven-ish. So we're going to go down, shoot this stuff quickly and then back up. But this dress. breakfast and our favourite. I know so many people from Milan are like, why are you in Panini Dorini? I don't, you know, I don't even care as long as it's good food. I just like these cafes. There are loads of these. These are almost as, as, there are as many of these Panini Dorini as there are press in London. But they're really good food and I don't even care. So I got my avocado toast, not a coffee, so, you know, we're happy.
on our way back from the show. We just need to take some quick pictures. We were trying to get a coffee with Sander and Noor, but um, it was taking about 40 minutes to try and get a coffee. <laughs> so, we're now coffee less, but fantastic Todd show. Really gorgeous colours again. Beautiful pastel shades. I do love seeing the spring runways for all the gorgeous lightweight fabrics and, and pastels. So yeah, really beautiful show. I'm gonna head back. Oh, look at these dogs. Look at that one. Look at that one in the back. Oh my God. Oh, it's huge. presentation and I've already fallen in love with these. Look at the colour. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. It's just like it's perfect gold yellow. It is just and look at these little bunnies. Guys, I am in love with these. These are so me. Alex, how beautiful are these shoes? I found all the glittery. These are a bit like my uh, wedding shoes but the more multicolored version. Oh look. In fact these, these are what I wore for our wedding, but these are the multicolored version. I just wore the silver. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. Okay, there are so many shoes in here to show you. I'm just gonna quickly show you my absolute faves, like the things that I am desperate to buy. These should all be out in about two months. These are unbelievable, <laughs> absolutely unbelievable. That shape, the pointed toe, the heel height, the sling back. This is very me. This with the huge tassel, they're very sexy. But this colour, it's almost like a beautiful beige nude. Insane. Look at these guys. So again, these are kind of like my, um, these are the tequila range, but in a flat. They are just so unreal. Absolutely beautiful. And they come in all the different sizes. And I've got them in red. But over here, they have it in green and navy. And it's just beautiful, look at that. Just too many nice things I absolutely love in here. Oh, it's stunning! Okay, it's been a couple more hours. We've been, we have been sat doing emails and I've been booking flights to Chicago for later in the year and all sorts for the last few hours. But I'm just about to get my hair done. I just got into my Versace outfit so I could get a vibe for my hair. I've got Frank Provo coming around to help me do my hair, which is just amazing of them. They're just like an amazing hairdressers and hair service. They're gonna come over and help me do my hair. I don't know what to do with it, whether to put it down or put it up like super tight or I don't know. I just need to redo a bit of my makeup and then I'll be ready for the show. I always look forward to this one. I love this Versace look. Right, we are ready to head out to Versace. I've had my hair done by the Frank Provo team and they've made it so cool. I love it. And I've just gone for my usual, well this is actually red. I need to go for cherry lip liner, MAC, but this is actually red. And then I've got my Versace jewels on all to match. It's all very extra. Belt, little mini leather skirt, tights. The boots are actually pinko, they're not Versace, but I wanted something a bit more kind of cool and badass. That's the whole look. We've just taken some pictures out here on the balcony. It looks so amazing down here at the moment. And we had amazing light coming from there. So just taking some pictures. And now we're ready to head off.
I call the end of a fantastic day in Italy. A pearl spritz, tomato pasta, and my husband. We need to talk about that JLo moment for a second. Oh my god, I can't believe that actually happened. Literally, when it, when it came on, and I think came over and it started telling Versace, and she was like, Google, show me the Versace, the JLo in a Versace dress, and it came up on the screen, and then she was like, now Google, show me the actual dress, and that's when JLo just walked. It all gives me goosebumps thinking about it. And then she just came striding out, she looked so powerful, so confident. Un just unbelievable. It was like one of those moments I'll never forget. <laughs> it was like, is this actually happening? Is that actually JLo? We're having date night. I'm having spaghetti and a pair of spritz, and then we're gonna head back to bed after an amazing, amazing day. So happy. Good morning guys, last day of Milan Fashion Week for us and we have three presentations today. Um, we've just done, it's been a really really nice Milan this time, we've done some really gorgeous shows and I've got some really fantastic presentations so I'm really 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 pleased overall. And we've just got three left today and we're going to churches for their presentation which is literally downstairs. We're going to Jimmy Choo, hence why I'm wearing the Jimmy Choo. Wee! <laughs> today and then later on we're going to Bali and then we have to rush to the airport to get our flight back. I must admit I'm super super excited to see the house because our lounge has been painted while we've been away and the boys have been sending us some pictures and it's looking really really cool. My red wall ah! and my ensuite is practically ready so when we get back I can properly show you that and kind of do a bit of a bit of a walk around of it which would be fun. Um, yeah, so first thing I'll need in those ticks, some pickies, so I've got a nice, nice little Instagram shot for you guys. And then, um, yeah, presentation, presentation, presentation. This may sound a bit odd, because I know we're in Italy and it's all about good coffee, but this is by far the most incredible Starbucks in the entire world. I mean, I like to feel like we're in Charlie's Chocolate Factory right now. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, this is what the, this is what the cups look like. This is the best Starbucks coffee I've ever had in my life. Best Starbucks coffee by like Starbucks. far. There's stuff you can buy. There's these unbelievable tills. It is absolutely, like, I mean, look at the floor. We actually got in a queue to get in and we were like, why are we queuing for Starbucks? And then as soon as we got in, we were like, now we get oh, it. now we get it. <laughs> it's so like artwork and also, so I just saw like a really weird statue for like four and a half grand. Four and a half thousand pound Starbucks statue. Why not? On the mantelpiece? No. When yeah, okay. When in the <laughs> What a beautiful final day in Milan. The light is gorgeous. Everyone's in good moods. I've got my coffee. I'm so happy. It's so nice. Just seen the culprit from uh, <gasps> I didn't tell morning. them about it. Oh, did you not? Tell them. woken up at 4 a.m. by somebody shouting at the top of their lungs. It wasn't shouting. Of the oh, singing. It was singing. It was like orchestral singing in the middle of the, the morning. Waking everybody up. Everyone in that Galleria will have woken up to him going like, Oh, what's he even singing? It's like, whoa! whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just walked past him again, he was singing down the road, bless him. While he was giving the middle finger to a bunch he, of school yeah, kids. Well, <laughs> that's the way it goes sometimes. Right, on to our first presentation at whoo, Backlit. <laughs> I'm going to um, churches. Here we are, presentation number one. Okay, I've seen so many beautiful things that I love. Look at this little suede pair. And then these are really, really adorable and they look so comfortable. But over here, they've got the sneakers and these are just beaut. They're absolutely gorgeous. The suede, I've also got them in a blue suede. On to the Jimmy Choo presentation and there are some great shoes in here. It's orange, it's unreal. Honestly, loving the new logo though. It's all over everything this season. These new shades. Last presentation before we head back to the airport. And we just made it to Bali and this is absolutely stunning. The way they've arranged the showroom at little rooms and they've got all the different models wearing Bali in different setups. It's really beautiful. And like, look how gorgeous this is. It's really cool, isn't it? Oh my gosh, this pink chair. 
I need this chair. So it's a mad dash. We're just in a taxi. Back to the hotel. Quick change. And then to the airport. And then I'll probably see you at home.